it's all sandwiches that we would feed ourselves and not only that, just feed my kids. So, um, you know, we're, we're really serving high quality ingredients here. It was never like marketed to My name is Marko Milicevic. I cook, I travel, I eat, and my motto is always ask for more. People, I mean, good day. It's mid day again. I woke up early in the morning this time because I am going to visit a meat heaven. I mean, if you are a vegan or vegetarian, this episode you're probably gonna skip. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be your type of thing, your type of food, but for me, this is bloody heaven. I'll show you why. Hi everyone, my name is Alex Gustafson and I am one of the owners of Messenger. Uh, Messenger um, is an American style sandwich shop that I own also with my two brother-in-laws. Um, I met my beautiful Serbian wife in, in New York and um, now we live out here part time and this is a product of that. Um, Messenger basically came about whenever COVID started and we're all in one big house and we kind of found a love, a mutual love for, for sandwiches and meat and sauces and creative ingredients. And we needed to get out of the house, so we came up with a message there. And it's a little bit small, so it was usually kind of based around uh, carry out delivery, but we definitely have big ideas just based off the um, reaction that we're getting. And people tend to love these sandwiches as much as we do. Um, we put an emphasis on creative flavors, uh, marinated meats. I mean, it takes a lot of time to, to come up with uh, the sandwiches that you get to enjoy. We even often, once a month, we'll, we'll even roast a, a whole hog. We get a Carolina pit. We'll take eight hours and we pull up that hog and then we put that in the sandwich. So it's definitely, a, a sandwich may seem like a, uh, a, a, a not a fancy meal, but we're, we're definitely treating it like a fancy meal. So, but that's, that's kind of it. We, Trying to give a little American flair to it. We have a free arcade and just kind of the decor around is, is all kind of centered around American. But um, I think what makes Messerschmitt great and probably not as possible in a place like the States is the fact that we have such a, 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 like easy access to quality ingredients. Um, you know, if we were going to try to do the same type of sandwich in the States as here, it would have to be like 15, 20 bucks. But here we, we get, you know, just down the street, we get really quality vegetables. The butcher that we slice the meat up from is, is just down the street from us, and it's it's all uh, it's all sandwiches that we would feed ourselves, and not only that, just feed my kids. So, um, you know, we're we're really serving high quality ingredients here, which is makes it that even that much more exciting. You know, I'd like to say all of our sandwiches are great, but really, you know, we have the chicken alfredo, um, which is alfredo sauces made from scratch here. Um, it's kind of a different flavor I, I noticed. 
uh, here in Serbia. Our pulled pork and pulled beef really are flagship sandwiches, their first sandwiches, um, where we're actually marinating the meat in a, a crock pot for 12 to 16 hours, depending on when you order your sandwich. So it's very juicy, very tender. Um, obviously, a Philly cheesesteak is a big uh, fan favorite just because of the authenticity of it. I mean, we slice the meat extremely thin, which is uh, important when you're coming with a Philly cheese, Philly cheese steak uh, with the provolone, peppers, onions, all that good stuff. Uh, but now what's probably my favorite sandwiches are uh, NYC chopped cheese and New York City chopped cheese. We have a uh, ground beef smothered in, in uh, uh, cheese. And then you have um, onions, peppers mixed in it. And then we have a homemade aioli, um, which has about five different ingredients in it just for the aioli sauce. Um, I mean, the flavors on that is just so good. We actually just in the, we were in the burger festival uh, just recently here in Belgrade, and we got second place from the, for the chopped cheese. So we were really proud of that. We feel like we should have got first, but because it's not an untraditional burger, uh, we, we can understand uh, why we might have got second. Uh, the other thing that is really important to note in terms of what we offer is an uh, onion jam. So the pulled beef and pulled pork, they have an onion jam that actually gets smeared on the sandwich. And when we're making the onion jam, that's another 12 hour process to just do that. But I mean, it's just a, a sweetness that, that comes out of the onions that it's the flavor is just so unique that uh, I think everyone would would love it. I mean, you could use it for sandwiches, you can use it for chips. Uh, so at some point we'll actually be serving or, or selling jars of the onion jam um, just by itself. Uh, so again, you know, it's like when you go down the menu, everything's very uh, intentional and there's just a lot of creative flavors. I mean, we, we don't just put the meat on and then put some lettuce, tomato, slap some sauce on. I mean, just our pulled beef alone has about 15 different ingredients in it when it's all said and done, so. So yeah, with our different sandwiches that I would recommend you try it. I don't know how hungry you are, whether you want to do a half or a whole. Definitely should have New York City chopped cheese. And because you like a little bit of spice, you should do some chopped uh, little, little jalapenos in that. Um, I mean, Philly cheesesteak is great. And then full beef, I mean, I don't know if you want to do three sandwiches. <laughs> We can do we can do we can do three half sandwiches or three whole sandwiches, whatever you want to do. But we can split. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do let's do let's do uh, yeah let's do three whole sandwiches and then we'll, we can split. And then in terms of the fry the sides, we have sweet potato fries, onion rings, pepper rings, crisscross fries. Um, yes, sweet potato fries. Yeah, yeah, sweet potato fries. And then, uh, I definitely have to try it more the Alfredo sauce. You gotta get, okay, we'll get inside of that. Inside of that. We're just gonna start serving up a bunch of stuff. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. We deserve it. We deserve yeah. it. Let's just serve up a bunch of stuff and then we we'll, have a we'll beer. It's like midday. <laughs> yeah. A couple of beers. Check, check in in a few hours yeah. and, and we'll, we'll, see, we'll see where we're at. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll load up. We'll load up on it. Oh man, okay. Let's see here. Alright, we're gonna dance around a little bit. We're gonna go with the full the, 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 the pork here. Yeah. Pulled pork. What we have here is some homemade cold slaw, pulled pork, which has basically been sitting in a crock pot marination for around 12 hours about now, so it's got a little bit of, a lot of flavors in there. And then uh, some onion jam. And uh, yeah, I'm just ready to have that in there. Oh my god. A lot of fed flavors moving in there. Oh yeah. Deep heaven. Yeah. It's really deep heaven. Alright. Next one. Philly cheese. That's probably the most popular. Actually, one of my favorite things. Yeah. Let's dive in. No pressure then now. <laughs> yeah. I really, really enjoy it. Anytime I have a chance. And honestly, I couldn't find it. 
Out here? Okay. You see that a lot. I mean, you see. But it's just it's like they're going for the name. One of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. It's a simple sandwich, but I've done this wrong so many times. So. Simple but hot to make. Yeah. And so sometimes oh. with, the, with the Philly cheese, there's two different ways that you kind of make it, right? Like you can do it with like the cheese whiz, right? You can do it with the cheese whiz, with, or you can do it with provolone. We decided to do provolone just because our meat is so, uh, it's just like high quality. We want to focus on the meat. When you do the cheese whiz, you can do it. Exactly. It, it, it kind of dominates the taste. So for here, it's really just about, you know, we want to accentuate the, the taste of the meat. Yeah, yeah, actually, Don Street from our, our, our house. We used to go down here, but now, now we have a place that's uh, a little bit even closer, closer to us. So, but this one, uh, this is actually the ambassador's favorite thing. He was the who came in. He always comes up for the the Philly. It's actually that that's where the letter from right there. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the taste at home. Okay, so the final sandwich, we have here is a New York City chopped cheese, and let's eat Simple sandwich, but a lot of good flavors. You got some ground beef, got some smothered in cheese, some onions, homemade aioli, lettuce, tomato. Roll up your sleeves. Yeah, dive in for Okay. Any way you feel, yeah. there are no wrong answers here. No fancy way to do it. We discourage fancy. So this is the one when we did the burger festival. We got second place. Who got first? Sorry. I'm not bitter about it at all. But it was great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was great. <laughs> Finish here. We're gonna sleep here. Alex is done. So I'm done. <laughs> I hope you're all done. See you next time. Bye guys. See you here.